Hey, Page, it's Ron from yeah. Silver Tiger Media. How are you? How's it going, bro? Oh, excellent. Mate, it's great to speak with you. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, no worries at all. It's all good. I've wanted to speak with you for such a long time. I'm going to try not to do the whole bat fanboy thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mate, no firstly, worries, man. I'm pretty done to it. Fantastic. Congratulations on your enormous success. Over 5 million albums sold worldwide. Jeff killed John must seem so long ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was, I was just about to say who. <laughs> yeah, very long time ago. Um, very bad band as well, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so at least when you've done covers, I don't have to ask about your <laughs> musical influences, which is great. Like, we know Wales is a very musically orientated place with ace dead pods every five minutes, but was it difficult getting established as yeah. a metal band in Wales? You know what, dude? It was very difficult. Um, back when, uh, I don't know what year it was, maybe... Uh, 98, early 2000, maybe 2002, um, even as far as 2004, I'm not quite sure, but every every band was getting signed up around us, and we were like, we were trying so fucking hard, and like, everybody else was getting signed, and we were just like, what the fuck are we doing so wrong, you know, wh- why are we missing the boat, what, what, yeah. what's going on, we almost quit about three or four times, we almost gave up, but we kept going and kept going, and uh, I think you know, thank God we did because I think we're the pretty much the last last ones going now. Uh, apart from like, I don't know. I mean, Skin Red is still going, but they came after us, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. So you are still going. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, you know, and, and what a ride it's been, man. So it's been pretty awesome. Absolutely. After you released Poison, you toured with Rob Zombie. How important was that tour to your success? Do you think? Um. I think it was just another tour. Um, unfortunately, you know, shit went down and we got asked to leave. But, you know, uh, it, it was great. The shows that we did were really good. The guys are, guys are cool to us to an extent. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, shit happens. And uh, very fortunately for us, we, we ended up jumping on the Guns N' Roses tour, which was, yes. which was, you know, phenomenal. I mean, playing to like fucking 10 times the amount of people that we would on the Rob Zombie tour. But, um as important, yeah, it was pretty important for America, I guess, but yeah, you know, yeah. I don't think it really harmed us getting asked to leave, so. No, no, in no way, and look, it's a huge congratulations on your current work, Venom, it's magnificent, and demonstrative of the fact that oh, you guys you. are still, oh, pleasure indeed, really demonstrative of the fact that you guys are still working so really hard on your music. Oh, absolutely, we, um, we really knew we had to pull something out of the bag on this one, and um, you know, as 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 difficult it was with the departure of Jay, we we the three of us dug in, and we really made the most out of every every single thing that we could possibly, you know, the creative creativity inside of us, and and just blend as a band and just work the best songs that and, we could, and uh, you know, we we're, we're all super stoked with the album. We're all super proud, super chuffed with it, and we can't wait until next Friday until it's released. Uh, yes. When it's on the world. Oh, I'm so lucky to have had a, a preview. I can't wait to get the review out later on today. It's, it's A great deal of the work was oh, done right in, in preparation in your own studio. Is that right? Yeah, we demoed every song in, uh, well, and, and, and a hell of a lot more in my, at my place all summer. Um, but I think that was a really good smart move we saved a bunch of cash uh but pretty much ended and you need most of the demos you know I, over the last few years i've been spending a lot of money uh building the studio and just just working out how to work pro tools you know uh on my own and it was i mean the studio was there so it was it was such a good move you know the, the, the boys came around and we, we just chilled like friends like brothers uh which is i think what was been missing uh, on the later years of Bullets Korea where we went into these larger studios, people telling you what to do, you know, your comfort zone. But then it was just three of us and we could all work together as a band, no outside influence. And what we created is uh, pretty much Venom. Uh, d- magnificently put. I mean, at that time together was obviously so important. It comes through in your music. The whole album seems to celebrate you yeah. all as individual contributors. It's, in my first thoughts, are uh, progressive... Yeah. Furious and unrelenting. Does that sum you guys up fairly well? Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, I mean, you know, we all know Matt's a great, you know, awesome songwriter. He's, he's put together, you know, pretty much most of the albums on uh, so far. 
but um, for me, the most to come in, you know, and, and uh, us together, to get together as three brothers and work together as musicians and all for the greater benefit of of our career is is phenomenal, you know, and I think it really does show. And again, like I, we can we can't say enough how proud of we are of this album. We think it's our best release to date. Well, and when it's but, released. Indeed, I would, I would have to agree. It's been a progressive journey all the way along, but this is just something sensational. Is there a central theme to the album, Michael? Um, no theme as such. Just, uh, we just wanted to make a really dark, aggressive, heavy uh, metal record, and um, you know, from, right from the moment, right from the moment we had to start writing, we we knew we had to do that. How we went about it was a different thing, uh, but I think as soon as a few key tracks came along, we kind of mm-hmm. knew what road we needed to go down and. Uh, you know, I think once you get three or four key tracks, you kind of know, okay, now we've got the direction we need to go. And uh, once that happens, it's, uh, you know, it's like a, like a spark of magic. And then, I'm oh, sorry, do you mind if I speak to in the bathroom? It's really loud on the, on the bus. I can't. No, uh, that's fine. Right? No problem. Echoing. All right. But, you know, once we have that spark of magic and that, that direction, everything just kind of fall, fell into place. And, uh, Recording this time around uh, in the big studio was a piece of piss, man. Uh, everybody knew what they were doing. Everybody was on point. Um, Absolutely. And it wasn't even like as if we were working, you know. Uh, we recorded in London, Matt lived around the corner, the most, and, you know, I, I, got, I got no kids, no family, so it was easy for me. Um, if Moose wanted to go home, he's two hours away on the train, so it, it was totally not... Everybody was comfortable, everyone was happy, everyone was just loving it and living it up. And it was the easiest record we've ever made. But then again, it's the best one we've ever made, I think. I think we all agree. Wow, that uh, really is obviously a formula for success. My personal favourite album, uh, Army of Noise, highlights your tremendous skill beautifully. Oh, yeah. But it, it's like you've been let off the chain to a certain degree. Yeah, yeah, they, they, you know, the boys have been pushing me for all these years. I've been pushing myself, but with the blues influences, they're like, come on, man, get out of the pentatonic, start fucking, you know, going a bit more nuts. So um, it took me an album or two to get there, but I think, you know, I really have stepped up my game. Plus, uh, being big friends with a guitar player called Andy James, uh, especially on this last year off or whatever, it's been a real help. He's a, he's a astonishing guitar player. Um, I think he's probably one of the best in the UK, and uh, having him as a mate uh, and a friend, and uh, technically another bandmate, but we won't go too much into that. Yeah, yep. <laughs> he's a, such a cool guy, you know. He, he's he's fucking awesome, and uh, you know, watching people like that is just so inspiring. And uh, it's, you know, I mean, that's what we do. We musicians, we get inspired by other players, and uh, it's, it's it's you know, it's a phenomenon. Absolutely, and you've obviously driven each other so very, so, so very well. The album is technically superior to anything you've done before as well. Uh, with tracks like "You Want to Blame" and "Broken," it's obviously going to be the middle broke up with my significant other album of all time. I'm sure that wasn't the intent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What was the question again? <laughs> That's all right, mate. There wasn't really it's a question. Love there. More an observation. Sorry, everyone's fucking party. Yeah, right. I don't know. To an interview. That's all right, no worries. You've managed to advance your sound without losing your identity. That's such a rare skill. Was that part of the intent setting out? Um, without, I think without blowing our own trumpets, just, you know, the um, the, uh, the heaviness of the melody, uh, I think that's one, you know, that's a key sort of signature sound of bullet, and we've always had that. For some reason, we've, we've been able to blend both uh, together all our career. Um, and obviously, it's not going to go away. Uh, what we did on the last album, we really stripped off the fat and trimmed everything down and, and uh, uh, kind of didn't follow the formula as such. Yeah. But now yeah. on this one, we realized we had to bring it back. And uh, although it's kind of stripped down, we it's more focused and uh, it's more intense. And like we, we just wanted to really make everything, every part, every riff, every lick, every uh, vocal, every every drum fucking fill, every, you know, everything, we just really worked on everything and uh, really, you know, sort of put everything under the microscope and uh, it worked out 
so well, man. I mean, you know, if, if I could suggest this way of doing it to any band, then do it. Indeed, and uh, obviously you had a lot of the work done for Carl Brown and Colin Richardson, but uh, was it good working with them anyway? It was great working with them, man. Um, you know, it was very complimentative of the work we had already done, uh, you know, back in, back in my garage, and um, they were even referencing uh, sort of sounds like, oh, you know, what preamp do you use, what plug-in do you use? It's like, but I can't fucking remember. <laughs> I was there drinking beer, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, yep. <laughs> no, they, they, you know, they were very complimentative, and uh, I mean, twelve guys say that, but you know, back, back to us, you know, these are the best demos we've ever used, and uh, I mean, vice versa, you know, I look, I look up to these guys with with everything, you know, I mean, they, they are the pinnacle of uh, modern, you know, metal state of the art recording, and uh, twelve them referencing my demos is like fucking mental, but uh, to work with them. It was like, you know, I mean, we did the the first two albums plus the EP before that with them, with Colin at least, and uh, to have him back was just like, it was just, it just felt so right. He was a brotherhood, and we so should have done the other two albums before with them, I think. Oh, beautifully put. And now, and you, you, against Oscar, so now uh, you you must be getting ready for your uh, performance at First Niagara Pavilion. Have I got that right? Uh, where is that? I thought it was today, but I could have my facts wrong. <laughs> uh, are we in uh, Pittsburgh? Yes. Oh, yeah, we, did, we came off stage, man. I'm all showed up, and I'm uh, hitting the fino, so it's all good. Oh, no wonder everyone's partying. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. You know, it was a great show. The lawn was full. It was Sigma Pits, and uh, everyone was singing along, and uh, sun was in her eyes, and, you know, shit went wrong, and it was great rock and roll show. <laughs> oh, fantastic. And any plans for an Australian tour? There are indeed, but um, I can't, I don't, there's talks about it, and it will happen, but it's not going to be this year, so um, we will be down, and uh, I promise that, but I can't really say, I don't really know when. Oh, magnificent news. That'll be great. Mate, can I ask you to do a shout out for me for Silver Tiger Media? Uh, I was going to say good luck with the album, but you just don't need luck, it's a sensation. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, we, we're fucking stoked, man. We can't wait. Absolutely, and we thank you very much for that work. It's tremendous. It's going to be enormous all over the world. Thank you for your time today, and I hope to be chatting again with you very soon about a visit down under. Absolutely. No worries, bro. Thanks very much. Terrific. Travel safe, Page, and thanks very much for your time. Cheers, man. Cheers. Goodbye.